Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jewel Suds and Soaps. What I wanted to do today is I'm going to be doing a drop swirl. Um, I'm going to be using 14 ml of lilac fragrance oil. And let's see, one, two, three, four. I have 16 ounces right here of the clear melt and pour. I'm just cutting this up. So again, this is 16 ounces. And this is 12 ounces right here with the white. And the colors I'm going to be using today are I'm going to be using um, an orange, yellow, I threw out the yellow, it was the rest of it, and black, and I'm going to be keeping the white white. Okay, so what I did was I took um, some rubbing alcohol and a couple squirts and about maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, mica. And the same across the board here, about an eighth of a teaspoon on each and then a few squirts with rubbing alcohol. Now they will, once I get this out of the microwave, then I'll pour and they'll you know, mix up that way. Okay, now this is probably going to take me, I would say, about maybe eight to ten minutes. Um, I don't want to overheat it. Be very careful. Don't go above 160, which sometimes can happen. Um, if that does happen, you could burn your soap and it could turn, it could discolor to like a brown color um, or the scent will change. It won't be the, you know, the original scent. Okay, so I'm going to see you back every 30 seconds at a time. I'm going to be putting it in and taking it out and stirring and then repeating this whole process. Okay, we'll be back. We are back. Took about uh, eight minutes. Let's see here. Okay. I still have a little clump in here, and that's okay because I'm, you know, manually stirring it. Um, I changed my mind. I wanted gardenia, so fourteen ounces. I'm sorry, fourteen mLs of gardenia. Now apparently, um, this did have maybe some vanillin or vanilla in it. Though it's not brown, it turns to, it turned to kind of a dingy yellow. Okay, I have that mixed up, so now I'm going to start sorting my colors here. Now the black is purely going to be uh, for contrast. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Okay. I'm going to mix up this orange. It's a real pretty orange and this gardenia is really nice normally I don't really um, like florals to be honest but this is really pretty it's not too strong at all okay now this is the yellow Try and get that chunk out. I'm going to mix up the black. Make sure everything's incorporated. All right, I'm going to check the temps. And okay, 141 there. It's probably in the 120s. 129. 
126. I'm going to start pouring. And I'm going to respray my mold with rubbing alcohol. Okay, again, I'm going to spray these um, bubbles out. Actually, let me do black over here. I like the contrast of the black and then the white. This is all really hardening up quickly. Okay, I do like that the colors are remaining separated. This needs to be put back. Do some of this yellow. I'm going to start going in with this black. I'm going to check the temp on this before I pour. 152, that's, that's too much. It's too warm to pour. If I were to pour this in right now, it would muddy with all the other colors. And the white would probably turn gray. Sometimes rubbing alcohol kind of shocks it and cools it down. All right. 140. So ideally I want to be around 135, between 130, 135. Okay, I'm just going to start pouring. that penetrated. I wanted it to. Okay. And they all hardened up on me. I hope your day is going well. I'm hoping that this remains fluid, which I'm sure it's not. I want to get some white.
the temp on this. Kind of shock it. Okay, I'm gonna spray some alcohol. Okay, I'm gonna put some more yellow in. I'm gonna microwave this. Okay, I'm gonna take a temp on this yellow. One fifty-four. That's way, way too hot. This one cool. Still at one forty five. It's pretty as is. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to top it off with this yellow. And I think we just had enough. I'm going to maybe drizzle a little bit of that black. I doubt I have any room. It's kind of overflowing. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have any room. I'll, I'll just start spilling over. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, and I'm going to let this set, I would say, for a good two, three hours. Um, I could, I'm going to probably put it in the refrigerator. You can do that, maybe up to an hour or so. But I, I strongly uh, discourage you from actually, you know, storing it in the refrigerator. Um, I usually store it for about maybe an hour and then leave it at room temperature for maybe two hours so or an hour, depending on how big the loaf is. Thank you so much, and we'll be back for the cut. We're back for the unmolding. I 
I just think it's stunning. The orange is so vibrant. I, I just can't believe how vibrant these colors are. I'll be back in about two minutes. Okay, we're back. I am pleasantly surprised. I'm just over the moon for this soap. Now, think autumn, think fall. I'm probably going to call it um, Autumn Gardenia. This almost looks like a little butterfly. But the black, the orange, like I said, it's kind of, it's very autumnish, Halloweenish. That could be some kind of gruelly character. Very happy with this. I just can't get over the, um, just how vibrant. I typically don't use orange and yellow, and they're so vibrant and pretty. You better believe I'll be using these colors a lot more now in the future with things. This jasmine is really, really pretty. This is interesting too. This is so pretty too. At a certain angle, this almost looks like a mushroom right there. This almost looks like grass, the way it wisps the green. It gives a kind of that 3D texture look. 3D, you know, 3, 3D. So pretty. Okay, and this is the last piece. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you liked it, could you please press the like button, comment down below, I always enjoy uh, talking to you guys, and if you could subscribe, I would appreciate that. Once you do subscribe, you will be notified uh, when I release a video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.